Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today I'm sharing my daily cleaning habits. I've done a lot of cleaning videos on my channel and they are definitely my most popular. So I wanted to share what I do each day in order to keep my home clean. So I hope you find this video motivating and I hope that it will help you to come up with a routine or some habits that you can implement in your home. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe and if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. The first habit that I knock out early in the morning is making my bed. I have done this every day for as long as I can remember. It makes such a difference in the overall appearance of our room when we make our bed. I love to walk by and see my pretty made bed. I love to climb into a made bed. And if I left it unmade, it would just make my whole room feel messy. So it only takes a couple of minutes and I do have a lot of throw pillows and it still only takes a couple of minutes. So it's a great habit to get into in order to keep your bedroom nice and clean. My second daily cleaning habit is to put dishes in the dishwasher throughout the day rather than putting them in the sink or leaving them on the counter. We run our dishwasher pretty much every single night after dinner. It is usually very full after dinner because we are putting breakfast, lunch, and snack dishes in there throughout the day. And then when we add dinner dishes, it's very full. So we run it and we like to unload our dishwasher at night so we run it and then one of our boys empties it a couple of hours later before he goes to bed and that way when we get up in the morning and we're getting breakfast and coffee and everything we can just put coffee mugs and dishes and spoons and everything in the dishwasher throughout the day and that way they don't go in the sink they aren't left on the counter and after each meal we're putting everything away and that makes a huge difference in keeping our kitchen clean it is so nice not to have dishes in the sink or on the countertop now i do get asked what if you don't have a dishwasher so you can uh, wash dishes after each meal Another option is to keep like a plastic wash tub, you can get them at the Dollar Tree, under your sink with your dishes in and then just take it out and wash all of them say after dinner. Those are just a couple of options but it is a lot better than having them all in the sink or on the countertop. The next daily habit that I have is to do a load of laundry each day. Now this was always what I did but now that my boys are older and they are doing their laundry themselves they usually do their laundry once a week I don't have to do laundry every single day but when my kids were younger and I was doing all of the laundry I did about one load a day now some people have asked I don't have a load of laundry every day so if you think about like a load of towels one day, your sheets another day, the light color clothing another day, dark color clothing another day, and then I use cleaning cloths instead of paper towels. So I have all of those and that's another load. So that's six days right there, one load a day. So it just really depends that if you're single, you probably don't need to do one load of laundry a day, but if you have a family, instead of letting it build up to where you have to do four loads at a time and then fold it all and put it all, all away, that's the worst part, isn't it? Who cares about throwing it in the washer? It's the folding and putting it away. So just by doing one load of laundry a day, it's a great habit to get into to keep the laundry under control. Another daily cleaning habit of mine is to do a quick cleanup of the bathroom every day after I get ready. This does not take long. It's not a real deep cleaning. It's basically just putting everything away, wiping down the sinks and the countertops, just getting any makeup or toothpaste or hair off of the countertop and sink. And then if you want, you can wipe down the toilet and swish it. And I always use my cordless vacuum and just vacuum the floor. And I also empty the trash. It takes about four or five minutes, but it makes a huge difference in how the bathroom looks and nothing is going to build up so that you have a really gross mess. 
Another daily habit that I have is to do one cleaning task a day. I used to clean my house all in one day. So the dusting, vacuuming, washing the floors, cleaning the bathroom. And it just got to be too much when we moved here to do it all in one day with working on YouTube videos and editing and all of that. It was just too much for me. I pretty much had to dedicate a day to cleaning and I didn't want to do that. Um, so it depends on what works well for you. But for me, I do my dusting on Monday. I do the glass and mirrors on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I vacuum. On Thursday, I dust and wash our hardwood floors. On Friday, I clean the bathrooms and I wash the laundry room, mudroom, it's one room, but it, we use it for both. I wash that floor. And then on Saturday, I wash our sheets and put fresh sheets on the bed. I used to do all of that in one day, but I really like spreading it out. But we all have to do what works best for our schedule and our family and our lifestyle. I have videos doing it both ways. I have videos at my old house, which was smaller. I used to do it all in one day. And I have a video in which I cleaned this whole house in one day, because that's how I started doing it. And then I have it split up. So whatever works for you, I'll leave the videos and that will maybe help you to come up with a system that works well for you if you don't have one already. My next daily cleaning habit is zone cleaning. I know a lot of you guys do zone cleaning and have watched my zone cleaning videos. I have some from my old house, which is smaller than this house. And then I have some zone cleaning videos from here and I go through and show you everything and I'll link that whole playlist below. And I highly recommend watching that if you want to implement zone cleaning. So I've had a lot of you ask questions about how zone cleaning works and there seems to be some confusion. So zone cleaning is basically getting to all of the detailed cleaning that we don't have to do every day or even every week. It's breaking your home up into zones. So you just work on one zone per week. And this is completely separate from the cleaning that I was talking about in the last ha habit. It's separate from cleaning the bathrooms once a week, washing the floors once a week, all of that. This is completely separate because a lot of people mix the two and that seems to be where the confusion is when I get asked about it. So each week I have a zone. I have eight zones in this house and it's just the best way that I could split it up. So I hope that I explained that well because I do get asked about it a lot. And again, I have a whole playlist of videos on how I do it and you can watch it for some motivation and I have every single thing that I do in each zone. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. The next habit that I have and everyone in my family has is just to clean up after ourselves. This helps immensely. So putting away shoes, putting away my purse instead of dumping it on the countertop, putting away mail, having a place for paperwork and receipts and putting junk mail right in the recycling bin or shredding it if it has any information that you don't want anyone else to see. Um, just cleaning up after ourselves helps so much. And a lot of times that's how a mess happens is we just leave one thing out and then it's easy to put the next thing on the countertop or table and then the next thing and before you know it, there's lots of stuff to put away. So just being in the habit of putting things away helps immensely. The last habit that I have is to clean up the kitchen every night after dinner. I know it is not something I always want to do. I am not some superhuman that's like, yay, it's time to clean up the kitchen. I get tired and I don't always want to do it, but I always do it because I really, really do not want to wake up to a dirty, gross kitchen with gross dishes sitting in the sink or on the counter because the dishes and mess are not going anywhere and I really don't want it to be waiting for me in the morning. I want to start my morning off and be productive and I don't want to have to 
go in there and deal with last night's mess. So I have found, I've timed myself quite a few times for different videos. It does not take as long as you think. Set your timer and see how quickly you can get it done. Don't be afraid to ask your spouse to help out or have your kids help. At least they can put their dishes in the dishwasher or carry them to the sink. They can sweep the floor or wipe the table or what have you. It doesn't have to take forever, but it feels so nice waking up to a clean kitchen. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all, just comment below. Let me know what some of your daily cleaning and habits are. It's always great to get ideas from other people. And I will leave my cleaning videos in the description box. I'll leave my zone cleaning playlist. Those are really helpful and definitely check them out. I also have a whole cleaning and organizing challenge and I go through one week at a time and we conquer the entire house. So we get rid of clutter and we deep clean. So if that will be helpful for you, all of that will be in the description box. So I hope you have a wonderful day guys.